Hello again guys, it's DJ Slope here from Slope's Game Room. I'm getting caught up with my studio light leads. Ah, yes, hello guys, it's DJ Slope from Slope's Game Room. It's time for another data disc unboxing. Uh, never, ever, ever a bad package to receive. I've worked with a lot of record companies, uh, but I will say data disc are, I'm not gonna say they're my favorite, like I say, I've worked with a lot of companies, but they are definitely one of my favorites. Adore everything this company put out, primarily because I'm a massive Sega kid. If you want to check out any of the unboxings uh, leading up to this one, I have literally unboxed every single release they've ever done. Starting with the original, Streets of Rage. We have Shenmue, Shinobi, the Return of Ninja Master, Shinobi 3. Awesome, 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 awesome soundtrack, that one. Probably one of my favorite looking releases, which is actually the one you can see spinning up there with the white slit map behind it. Actually, I'll turn that off. That's probably going to be really quite distracting for my video. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely one of my favourites, that one. Um, Streets of Rage 2, which is the beautiful gatefold. I think it's their only gatefold they've done, actually. Awesome. Uh, Outrun, probably probably my least favourite looking cover, but I love the look of the vinyl. Uh, Golden Axe 1 and 2, Panzer Dragoon. Revenge of Shinobi, so, so good. Listen to that, endless amounts of times. Galaxy Force 2 and Thunderblade, which is... Easily the biggest surprise of the whole bunch, the one I knew the least about, and I've listened to up there with one of the one of the most. Obviously, you know, next to the Streets of Rage, Gunstar Heroes Two was the latest one, the last one, and here we are, number number twelve. Wow, can you believe it? We're already at number twelve. Now this has been opened up because there was more than one record in here, but I just wanted to show you the only one. But I haven't seen the Altered Beast record, which is this one in here. Um, and here we go, straight into it, straight into it. Uh, oh, I love getting stuff from data discs. It's always, always good. Oh, look, there we go, got a couple of stickers. <laughs> look, here we go. It is... Go, not go, that's what we're talking about. Altered Beast, Altered Beast, hell yes. There it is, oh, sorry guys, another sticker. <laughs> Yes, look at it. Now, I have been told this is obviously a review copy, I'm giving you my honest opinion, all that jazz, you know the score by now. Um, but what I will say is this one hasn't come in the normal sort of cling filmy case. Uh, it was also in a black um, uh, pl plastic sleeve, which it also doesn't come in when you buy them from retail, but because this is the review copy, they have come in with this, you know, reusable plastic sleeve. The proper ones are completely sealed and they do, and the record comes inside, but my wife moved it around, I haven't seen it yet at all. So anyway, let's get it open. Quite chuffed they've done that, I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> so here we are, Altered Beast number 12, music from the classic Mega Drive game. I wasn't sure if they were gonna be doing the arcade version or this. This is the uh, Mega Drive version. Uh, newly remastered and with rare archival artwork, vinyl LP and fold-out poster. That's always a good thing. If it's a fold-out poster, I don't think they've done that since uh, Shinobi 3, actually. Um, an officially licensed Sega product. You know you're getting quality with Altered Beast. So let's have a look. Um, oh, look at that. That's lovely. Not many tracks on. I mean, you've only got three tracks on the first side. Uh, and what's that? Five tracks on the other side. But um, let's have a look at the fold-out poster. I can fill that inside before we get into it. Oh, there you go. It's the front and the back cover of the actual uh, of the cover of the record. Very nice. So obviously I've seen this cover before, but I haven't seen this before. That looks really good. Yeah, like I say, that's the front and back of that, isn't it? Yeah, excellent. And that's all that's in there. So what else have we got? This is. Oh wow, would you look at that? That is really, really nice. I'll do some, like I say, usual, you know, data disc unboxing or record unboxing. I'll, I'll do some nice close-ups at the end. Um, almost pastel painty sort of looking. It's, it's really, really nice. And on this side, there you go. Excellent. It's always good. They always put original artwork, like, well, I say always, the super hang on and out one, they, you know, messed around a little bit, but uh, original artwork for these releases, and I really, really like them, and, ooh, I've completely forgotten what this record looks like, let's have a look, 
Yes, I do remember now. Look at that. So that's going to be quite hard to for you guys to see because it's so faint. So it's completely see-through, which I, I'm a big fan of. Uh, and then you've got orange splatter. I don't know how well that's coming up on the camera. But I do remember seeing this now and being almost a little bit disappointed um, uh, in the original email. But I've got to say, that's up there. I really, really like that. I think that is sexy. What I'll do at the end of the video is I'll do you guys a close up on the, you know, on the record player up there of all the releases and I'll let you guys decide which one you like the most. But I tell you what, that is very, very nice. I don't know how great it will look with a, you know, a black slip map behind it. Obviously I'm going to be using the white one, but uh, as just a record to hold, it's absolutely beautiful. I really, really like that. So as usual with data disc uh, records, there is normally a hidden message. Uh, engraved on the inside there. Let's have a look. I'm guessing it's going to be Rise From Your Grave. Um, you know, I don't even know if they've put one on here. Oh, there it is. It's very faint. Rise From Your Grave. What's the other side going to be? Meet Your Doom? Is that what it is? Meet Your Doom? Well, um, it's not Meet Your Doom. Welcome to Your Doom. Welcome to your doom. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. I think that's the first one I've ever guessed correctly. <laughs> Guys, this is a brilliant record. It, it's, it's, it's standard data disc. It just looks good. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be brilliant, you know, sounding. They always source from the original, uh, uh, you know, arcade machine, uh, Mega Drive, whatever it may be. So, you know what? I'm very, very happy with that. Very, very happy. I like that a lot. So yeah, guys, there it is. I'm just, what I'm trying to do is just see what the uh, indent looks like on the inside because sometimes they loop the tracks right at the end like a sound effect or something like that. We'll see if there's anything like that in a minute. But anyway, guys, it's just a quick unboxing. It's the latest data disc records. It's going to be good. We all know that. Um, so yeah, here it is. And, um, Please obviously check the playlist for all of their other record unboxings and all of my other record unboxings. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll leave you guys with some close-ups and some game footage of Altered Beast. Thank you very much for tuning in. This is DJ Slope signing out and hopefully I'll see you all next time.